Now, hi Pratish, I heard you got All India Rank 7 in KVK. Congrats. Thank you, thank you. Now, how do you feel right now? I feel very happy now because I got what I wanted to get. Uh-huh. Which was an admission in IASC. Yeah, I feel very happy and it's not every day you get to be a top ranking person in India. Oh. So, uh, All India yeah. Rank 7, I never expected that. Okay. So, I feel very happy now. So, can you tell me more about KVP? I want to know more about it. Yeah, so, KVPY, it is a scholarship exam and also it also doubles as an entrance test for different science institutions in India like the Indian Institute of Science, uh, ICERs and also IIITs also accept it mm-hmm. and upon that if you join any undergraduate science course you will get a handsome scholarship of 80,000 rupees per month oh. per year sorry okay that's good that's good so what about IITs you are not planning for engineering no? yeah I mean I never I was never interested in engineering much so like I, I wanted to do something in pure science like pure theoretical physics things like that so I'll be giving J, but I won't be preparing much for it. And I oh. think I got very less marks in mains. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. I think so. And yeah. uh, now, like, how did you prepare for KUP? So my preparation it consists mainly of doing NCRT. So like in KUP, the problems are all logical type of problems. Uh. If you know the basics, then you can solve it. So that's what I do. I just study all the basic different types of topics and the problem. I just see some intelligent type of problems. So which uses some clever trick or things like that and maths was mainly Olympiad preparation SP's class is very good for that actually oh, so can yeah. SP and PNS is Olympiad class many uh-huh. people actually think that it will never help you but it helped me a lot even for J2 mm-hmm. many of the Olympiad trick it teaches you how to think so and also chemistry was only problem but surprisingly I got almost full in chemistry oh. so you can understand how easy it is oh, yeah. okay. NCR is enough for that so one of the biggest dilemmas I have right now, is it possible to manage school and uh, like entrance exam together? School and entrance, yeah. So basically, we never actually considered it in school. Oh. Like, I mean, it's board exams, you know. If you go to state board, I'm talking about state board here. Yeah. I heard my friends suffering in CBSC. Oh, okay. A state board, you can do it a day before the exam actually, everything. And you also get these question banks. So these okay. consist of all the questions which will come in the exams uh-huh. and also the questions will also be repeated. Mm-hmm. So you don't need to do much preparation, just study it one day before the exam and you will get it. So yeah. in this uh, years of your preparation, was it just studying all the time or uh, would you enjoy also in other ways? My motto is I never actually give much concentration on studies. I like to enjoy my life too. So I mean that's why I, most of my day I spend it on watching different type of TV shows and movies okay. and sometimes I do a bit of coding also. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's what I like to do. I don't prefer studying much just for the sake of study. Mm-hmm. Whenever I get something interesting, I read it and I go through it. Mm-hmm. And then whenever I get bored of so, watching movies or things like that, I uh, go back to study for something. Oh, okay. So about problem solving, is it like an adventure always? <laughs> yeah, that's why I like it as an adventure always. So oh. it's like you apply a lot of different interesting tricks to it. When you see a wide variety of problems. I don't like to prepare, the, I don't like to practice the same type of problem again and again and again. Uh-huh. I like to see different types of problems and I do it once. And if there's any useful, useful interesting trick, mm-hmm. I learn it and I keep it in mind. So uh-huh. whenever I see some problems, I try to see which all tricks I can see from my library of tricks, mm-hmm. for example. So these qualities, is it because you joined from 8th standard uh, in CFL? Like, is it uh, really worth joining uh, coaching st- uh, class in 8th standard? Yeah, I mean, it depends on who you are, whether you like it or not. So in 8th and 8 to 10th, I never actually considered it for the exams or anything. Mm-hmm. Whatever I used to do, I used to sit in the class and listen to what the teachers used to say. Mm-hmm. And then whatever some if there are some interesting topics I didn't understand, yeah. it used to stay in my mind. And whenever in the future in some random time whether I was bored or something, mm-hmm. I should recall that and think over it and I would try to see, try to make sense of it. Oh. So in those three years time, I could think deeply about all the subjects. Mm-hmm. So by the time I came to 11th and 12th, I was clear in my concepts. And okay. it became easier for me. I never actually had to practice much. Mm-hmm. So now That's that you have got IAC, what is your upcoming plans now for the three to four months before yeah. the classes? So now I'll, now I'll be going for a trip now and next week I'll be going to Bombay to attend the Astronomy Olympiad camp. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, it's for 20 days. So I think I'll have a lot of fun there. Uh-huh. And then in June I'll be going to the United States, to the Ohio State University for a month and a half. I have a yeah, math yeah. program. It's a math, Ross Math Camp. Mm-hmm. So I'll be doing number theory, holy number theory for the six weeks. Oh, okay, good. So I think I learned I learn a lot there. Yeah. So what would you like to say to all uh, all your juniors and uh, people who are going to write the exams now? Well, just enjoy your life, but also have a clear plan. Make a plan and try to execute it. Because oh. I had a plan. 
my plan was to get KP in 11th mm-hmm. and then do what you want for the rest of the 12th and 11th and half. That was nice speaking to you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, thank you.